Hello and welcome to another video on Code Tech and Tutorials. Huge shout out to my community for voting and taking part in this little uh, words, how do they work poll. I'm always coding and I'm always uh, just kind of making little progress updates here and there. And I don't know what to do with these vlogs. They're not. I don't know if they're all that entertaining, but to other coders or people that want to just hear thought processes on code, it might be great. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to put them on the main channel or on a whole nother channel because they're not going to be as edited as my normal weekly content. These vlogs are going to be like a bonus basically. And I wanted to get at least, you know, around a hundred votes before I uh, committed. And I really thought that the second channel was a better idea. Like in my opinion, I was, I was thinking, I don't want to clutter up my main channel with a bunch of like rambly code vlogs, but I think we'll, they'll, they'll serve a purpose and I guess we'll be better than I think because you guys seem to agree with that. And uh, I was kind of lumping the I don't know into second channel because that was my vote. So uh, still a heavy 78% on the put them on this main channel. The point of these is to not be edited. So there's almost no editing in them, but there's a lot of talking and there's a lot of theory. And there's uh, potentially a lot of uh, my mistakes in the way I'm thinking or designing, which you'll see probably corrected later. But also a big portion of this is for people to like have discussions below about like, oh, uh, he's doing this and that's great. Or he's doing this and that's not going to work. Hey, why don't you try? You know, just stuff like that. Just discussion for us all to kind of learn and have examples. Yeah, here we go. I guess this is the first series of code vlogs. I'll probably do one uh, per project or per iteration of a project or something like that. All right. Enjoy. All right, we are doing what I would call one of the biggest rewrites of the Ancient Archer game engine. Version 6. I am considering some design patterns to help sort out the structure of this. Mainly the model view, view model pattern and applying it to this bad boy. So yeah, I already moved everything around. It doesn't currently work because it's a whole new structure. And it's a lot flatter. As you can see. But we're not done. Alright, so uh, I got a lot of work to do and I'm going to keep just checking in with old co code boy here. So basically what we want to do here is get a window popping up and get things rendering again like it used to be and then we can go from there all right so i've been working on the window i got the first call back going now we just need to see if we can get it popping up and working and resolve all the other errors most of them are just going to be straightening out headers so it won't be too bad okay it's been a solid 45 minutes since I started and pretty much all I've got is the windowing and a little more on the callbacks. I had to do some research to make sure I was doing some of these callbacks right. So that ate up a bunch of time. But I'm going to take a quick break and then I'll get back to it and update you guys shortly. All right, back at it. I've been using the Pomodoro technique with 45 minutes on and short breaks. Okay, checking back in. Pretty situational, but I think I've found a great way to design this class without having to make a whole bunch of setters and getters, but instinctively having them anyway. Check it out. This is the thought process. I don't know if this is technically correct or the best or whatever, just something I, I think will work good for my case. So take that for what you will. Uh, okay, so we make an options for the class, right? And all you do is you set a single getter to get all the options and then an apply changes. But we're going to make this Windows options a shared pointer so that other people can get it, modify it, and then hit apply changes and it'll update everything and apply our changes. And that's it. We don't need a getter and setter for every single one of these. There's just one all inclusive. Now the downside of this you would think is you're passing around a lot of data. But since we're using a shared pointer, we're not. We're just passing around just just a pointer, basically. The data is all remaining where it is. So this should be pretty efficient. And look, it's only 30 lines of code, and that's including everything and some extra spacing. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited about trying out this mode and uh, this design 
pattern that I don't know what this would be called exactly, but just the idea of having a options and then and a, a get and an apply with a shared pointer holding that data. All right. I want to get back to it. I'll check in with more updates soon. I don't know why I do that little mini outro every time before I hit pause. It's going to get old real quick. But anyway, the point is we can now pretty much delete all of these and have them all go at once when we do and apply changes uh, with the new options. So that'll be kind of cool, huh? All right. That's the plan. And we'll see how many lines of code that is. Well, for today, I've pretty much gotten up to uh, starting to get the graphics all loaded up. So yeah, window and, gra and graphics. Uh, we'll probably come back at it again tomorrow. 